Today we're gonna be doing a 1v1 and an interview with the creator of the Versus Imposter mod, Clofo. Now this mod has over 220,000 downloads, which is pretty insane. One of the most popular mods ever made. So we're gonna learn more behind its development story and also learn more behind the scenes of what the creation was like. Make sure you smack the like if you want us to go up against even more mod creators in the future. Don't forget to subscribe as well or else Amogus is going to be sussing you out. Yeah, it's pretty sussy, bro. Like, literally. So we are here with the creator of Versus Imposter V2. His name is Clofo. Is it right? Clofo, right? Yeah, so I'm Clofo. I program Friday Night Funkin' Mods. I'm the lead programmer of Versus Imposter. Awesome. Yeah, Versus Imposter had a really big team. They had uh, Super Inky, Petro, Ultra, Adam and Comments, Postman, Squidboy84, Fabs, Black Joystick, Phoenix, and Julian. Really big team. Wow. How come so many players? The team started off really small, but as it went, we just invited more and more people. And the next version, you're going to see why. There's going to be a next version of the mod with another week. And that's where a lot of the people are here. It's gonna be great. Wow, great. So, what was your reaction when Funky Friday contacted you about adding your mod in? Well, we actually contacted them because, like, they gave us the mod maker role in the server and they said it would be added, but we actually had no idea when. And then we asked and they're like, oh, it's coming out Tuesday. And then it came out on Tuesday. It was a pretty straight process. So, what was, like, your reaction when they added in? Were you happy about that? Obviously. <laughs> It's, it's crazy to see, like, as a thumbnail of the game. Yeah, it's crazy, man. So, what inspired you to create Versus Imposter? Okay, so funny story. The mod is actually, like, an accident. So, basically, we were a small team, and we were working on another mod. And what happened is, we were like, okay, so what if we released a joke version of the mod with an Among Us song? And we had a small server that was following the mod, like, 20 people. And basically, we made Versus Imposter V1 in a couple days. We threw it together, and we released it only to that server. Here's a little demo of our mod, and it was just a funny Among Us mod. And then people suggested that we should release it on Game Banana, and then that's what we did. Wow, great! So, what made you want to make a mod about Among Us? Like, why not any other game? It was basically the joke at the time. We were like, okay, let's just fake people out with Among Us. And that's basically how it started. It was just a joke. But then uh, the reception was so good that we decided to go further. In that original first version, the crewmate looked exactly like the asset from Among Us. Like, what prompted the version 2 change? The reason it looked like that is because that imposter was originally not even for versus imposter. There was a guy in the server for the mob we were making. And he was just making an imposter Friday Night Funkin' sprites for fun. And we were just like, hey, what if we use these? And then he was like, oh, sure. And then he became a member of the team because of it. Uh, after V1 release, when we started being more serious, he was like, we should probably make this fit the art style of the game more. And that's why he looks like how he does in V2. Yeah, because you guys added in a huge giant mouth. Like, he made it, like, a lot different than what it was before. So for the sound effects, did you guys get, like, permission from Among Us to use them? Or, like, did you just rip them from the game? We just ripped them from the game. <laughs> What are you gonna say for copyright though? I hope the Among Us devs are chill. I mean, it's not Nintendo, so we're probably fine. 50 seconds into Meltdown, there's a reference to Low Fight from Versus Witty. Like, what inspired you guys to add that into the song? Fun fact, that wasn't even on purpose. Every time that's brought up, we're like, oh, like, we didn't even notice. Adam, when he was composing the song, he's our composer. He just came up with the same melody, I guess. It's funny. I mean, I guess it's a reference, but it wasn't intended originally. Well, how about this next one? Because at 45 seconds into Sabotage, there's another reference to the AirPod Shoddy meme, too. This started because back when uh, V1 was a thing, the second song was just a straight cover of Why You Actin' Sucks, and I also wanted a cover of AirPod Shoddy in. When we played V2 and we made it serious and we just made the original songs, we were like, okay, if we're not gonna just do covers of these songs, we should throw some motifs of them in. And that's why they're in the song. I think it's great. What was the development like? Was it stressful for you guys? Was it, was it disorganized? I wouldn't say it's stressful, but our development right now is kind of disorganized. Uh, it's not like in a bad way, but like, there's a lot of people doing a lot of things. But like, it's all gonna come together. I can see it. Uh, back then, it was really simple. There wasn't that much. V2 had a really easy development. Uh, Inky did the sprites for the imposter really early on, and then the background was done, and then the music was finished, and we were basically done. So how did you meet your team? Uh, all by chance. I got added to the team when we were making the old mod. It was a completely separate mod. It was like a, it, it was related to Mario 64. Basically, um, they were working on that mod, and they saw that I made a skin mod. I used to make like skin mods before like I started programming for Friday Night Funkin', and they added me to the team back then. 
And then I started programming for them. And it was only a few of us. But then when we started making the Among Us mod, we started branching out. And I guess it just came together. So, was there any hardships during development? I think the hardest part was the stupid red flashes. Those took forever to implement. I was at someone else's house. And it was the night before release. And we were like, okay. We need to get the red flashes done. So I was like sitting on the floor of someone else's basement on a laptop trying to code it in. And then I ended up falling asleep. But my friend and the other programmer in the mod fabs, he completely saved me because he noticed that I didn't change it yet. And he completely did it for me. So would you say that part was the hardest part of development? Yeah, everything else was pretty smooth actually. Not much happened. How long did development take? For V1, just like three days. And for V2, V2 took around... Three weeks, I'd say. Three, four weeks. Do you have any beta animations or songs that you'd be willing to share? That, yeah. I have some beta stuff. I actually have a beta version of Meltdown. The song was originally a lot slower. It was a lot slower, you can tell. That was a problem because it was like, we were, a lot of us were concerned because it was the final song in the mod. It seemed like it was easier than Sabotage. And then we told Adam, he completely revamped it instantly. It was great. We had a beta version of Sabotage and it used a lot more Among Us sounds. The way it's synth is used, it makes it really unique. And we felt like it ruined it with all the Among Us sounds. There's still Among Us sounds in it, but we had like an over the top amount. So we got rid of them. How long do the songs take? Adam is really fast. So basically, he'll say that he starts working on the song and he'll finish it in like two to three days and it's really good. He's really fast with it. So are you planning on adding more songs to Versus Imposter in the future? We're actually planning a week two. We've been working on it for the past month. It's starting to come together, but it's not really close yet. I think it's gonna come out probably late July or early August. It's gonna be pretty good. We have a lot of stuff planned. This might be a stretch. It's not though, I don't think it is. It's almost as ambitious as Tricky. It's, there's gonna be a lot of stuff in it. It's gonna be great. I'm really excited to see how people react to it. So like new secrets and new characters and new backgrounds? There's gonna be a ton of stuff. Yeah, I'm really excited. Cutscenes and voice acting? Uh, Cutscenes, yes. Voice acting, I'm not sure. But if we were gonna get voice acting, I would just ask Rec D or something. How about death notes? Like sus notes dropping down? <laughs> There's gonna be new mechanics, but I can't say what they are because I don't want to ruin it. Yeah, yeah, no worries. We'll keep it a secret. So what's your future plans? Are you like, obviously you're working on uh, week two, but is there any other projects you're working on currently? We have a lot of projects in the back burner action. We have a complete soundtrack for a mod that was completely finished while we were working on week two, just for fun. Our new, we got a new composer on the team recently. His name is Verblin, and basically he just cranked out three songs for a certain character. And we're like, all right, after Versus Imposter, we gotta, we gotta do this. So you'll see that after. Dang, sweet. Is there any leaks to that? Or <laughs> Mod, it's gonna be versus the Minecraft pillagers. It's like, you're in a village and there's like a bunch of them. So that's basically the premise of the mod. He wrote three songs like in like three days. It's insane. He was really fast. But they're, they're pretty good. I'll, you'll probably be playing a clip of it while I talk, but yeah. Well, I definitely want to thank you for your time on the interview today. Do you have any like social media that you'd like to plug in so the viewers can follow you on your journey? I just have a Twitter. It's just called Cloudflow. I have a YouTube as well. It's just called Cloudflow as well. I'm really easy to find. I use the same name everywhere. Uh, it's not really a common name, so. All right, sweet. Well, make sure you guys go follow him, and I definitely want to thank you for your time on the interview today. No problem. I'm glad to be here.